you got to find the good in this, and this it definitely definitely helped me grow as a person. Last February, I was in a car wreck. Um, dude ran a stop sign and uh, hit us from the side, going around 60 miles an hour. In that wreck, I had a brain bleed, a brain bruise, a punctured lung, torn kidney, torn spleen, and a broken pelvis. And I went through months upon months of therapy, speech therapy, recreational therapy, occupational therapy, and physical therapy. Spent two, two to three months in a wheelchair. Um, I had to spend five months no driving because of the brain injury. I wasn't allowed to go to school or anything uh, until I could pa pass my neuropsychological test. And uh, just throughout throughout that whole time, just going through all that therapy and what the therapist did for me, it absolutely made me fall in love with therapy. It made me want to just turn my life over to helping others, helping others the way that those therapists helped me. Because if it wasn't for those therapists, it wasn't for the fact that they took pride in their duties, they took pride in the fact that they wanted to get me to reach my goals back to a normal life. It wasn't for them. Well, yeah, I obviously, you know, first thing, it takes patience. Patient has to have that motivation, has to have that want to put in the work. But that therapist has to be there instructing them and supporting them the entire way and help them give that motivation. And I want to do that. I want to let others know that you can feel like you're at the bottom, you can feel like there's no way you can get past this. But if you believe in yourself and you have faith in yourself and you have faith in the Lord and you have faith in that other people do love you and do care for you and do believe in you, that you can do anything you want. And I just want, I just want to do that. And that, that, that's, that's, that's why I'm here at Wallace. I want to help others and make others' lives better. Even though they're in a position where they may not believe, and it may be the hardest thing for them to believe that I'm going to get through this, and I'm going to get better, and I'm going to make a recovery. I, I, I want to share this message. I want to share that message to each one of my patients. I've been there. I've been exactly where you are. Have faith and have hope. And work hard and, and, and you'll make it.